Right, uh, good afternoon. Afternoon, all. Good. Right, uh, I would like uh, you to introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Steve Chenuro. Right, Steve, how are you? I'm all thanks, sir. Right, uh, we heard that you guys have uh, started an academy called Future Sports Academy. Yes. Can you please uh, explain to us uh, how it came to be? Uh, Future Sports Academy, this idea came when we realized that our community needs one and for the betterment of sport, uh, future academy, uh, main purpose and objective is to promote sport to underprivileged community, both in privilege, and also to promote long-term player development. All right. Um, you are based in much central, uh, to be exact, in uh, Bendura. Um, how do you see your academy grow? Uh, in my central, my central is, is one of the uh, richest provinces in Zimbabwe. Hopefully, if we set our house in order and market our our product very well, hopefully we hope that we will get proper sponsorship and and resources. And we want people of my central to see sport as a career and lifetime investment. Right. Um, the setup of the academy, how do you see it benefit uh, the community? Uh, the academy will benefit the community uh, by developing the coaches, uh, coach and player education, and also uh, international and local exposure. Right. So, what are um, your immediate plans? Uh, uh, our immediate plans is to start recruiting players and also sell the idea to our community all right and uh, any future plans uh, future plan uh, we as sport as future sports academy in the future we want to be able to to take kids to school uh, and also promote and also promote their social social welfare all right yeah. right uh, Basically, in short, what, how will you summarize um, the plans and uh, plans of objectives and uh, how you are going to accomplish them? Uh, our objective, our, our objective is to see kids from Future Sports Academy playing the national team, playing at the international club, playing, playing at. Uh, higher level and also uh, we are going to promote them uh, in, in terms of academics we're going to motivate them to, to fulfill their their academic expectation and also we are going to educate them on drug awareness and as future sports academy uh, it is our objective to make sure that sport has been spread sport has been decentralized all right um basically how many sport codes do you have at uh future sports academy? Uh, at the at the meantime we have golf cricket and rugby uh as time goes on if we manage to get enough resources we introduce tennis and soccer right so how are you planning your, your programs? Like uh, you have got uh, so many sports codes, uh, soccer, cricket, yeah. rugby, and tennis. Yeah, in the first, we, we, we are going to, to look for volunteers, the coaches that wish are going to volunteer as, as the academy that we were just starting. So we, we are going to look for volunteers, people who are willing to, to help, to assist uh, from parents, from coaches, or from former players so and we're going to look for volunteers as we develop we'll end up employing the coaches full-time so that we, we we can make our academy a better a better and conducive club right, right. um any last words uh, for the parents in, in the community uh all, all i can say is sports for the betterment of our sport, we have to be, we have, we, we are, we, are, we have to be involved together, and also sport 
make sport as a lifestyle and sport will help us fight against non communicable diseases. It also, it also help us uh, fight against traces and also help our kids physically and also promote physical literacy. All right. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Mchenura, for uh, your time. We know you have got a busy schedule and uh, would like to thank you very much for giving us time. Thank you.